Hello everyone, welcome to my second YouTube tutorial. Today we'll be working on this really simple smoky-eyed look, so let's get started. For this tutorial, I have already prepped my face. If you would like to see that tutorial, just go to my last video and watch. It's just a, long, a little bit of a longer process. So I just um, did that beforehand and um, now I'm applying a highlighter underneath the brow. For the highlighter, I am using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Next, I'm applying Urban Decay's Primer in Sin all over the lid. Next, we will be applying eyeshadow across the entire lid. Here, I am using a very soft champagne tone I like to go in with a white or a soft matte uh, cream tone just to highlight underneath the brow because that white pencil that we use is very white so you don't want it to be unnaturally sticking out. Now comes the tricky part. So the best advice that I can give you regarding smoky eye, anytime you're doing a smoky eye, is to start very slow with very little product on your brush or applicator. So we are starting out with very little product and I'm just starting from the outer corner of my eye and softly just blending it in. Um, at this point, we're not gonna take it over the crease. We're just gonna try to keep it in that corner of the eye. Next, we'll be taking our blending brush and taking a little bit more eyeshadow and starting at that outer corner once again. We're going to gently uh, just apply the eyeshadow and start blending it towards the middle, not going too far into the middle though. So once you are satisfied with that initial eyeshadow application in the corner of your eye, you're going to take that same uh, amount that was already on the brush or applicator and drag it across the crease going up to your brow. Now this next step is more of a pre personal preference of how smoky you want your eyes to be. If you think that you are good with the amount of shadow that you already have on, you don't have to necessarily continue applying more eyeshadow. I wanted to add a little bit more of the dramatic effect, so I like to have my eyes a little bit darker. I went in with more eyeshadow and just applied that to the outer corner, blending it out once again. Next, using Max Smolder Eye Coal, I'll be tight lining my eyes. Using the same eye pencil, I am lining my eyes. Don't worry about the line being perfectly straight because we will just be blending this out. Once you have blended out that line, you can stop here if you are content with the really soft, smoky look. This isn't crazy dramatic and it's very wearable during the day. If you would like to add lashes, you can go ahead and add lashes. However, I will be applying liquid liner to add more of that dramatic effect uh, before I add the lashes. Okay, so here I'm using NYX Liquid Liner from the Noir Collection, and we're just going to do a um, 
line across the lashes and to make it more dramatic I did a little bit more of a winged eyeliner. Once the liquid liner is applied, I'm going in with uh, Max Smolder and lining my waterline. Uh, we're going to bring that uh, line a little bit lower so we can blend that out to give that smoky effect on the bottom as well. I added some dark brown eyeshadow on the bottom just to blend out the um, Mac eyeliner because it was looking really dark so you can use any eyeshadow just to blend that uh, liner out on the bottom lid. Next I'm using BH Cosmetics Brow Trio just to fill in the eyebrows. Now for the fun part, add those glamorous lashes. Once you have applied the lashes, you can go in once again with the liquid liner just to blend everything together. Don't forget to add the mascara, especially to blend in your falsies and your real lashes and then we are also going to apply mascara to the bottom lashes okay so since I had already applied foundation and all that other stuff we are just going to go in and begin contouring to contour I am using elf cosmetics cream contour palette I personally feel that the cream contour products are easier to blend versus the powder so I generally start out with the cream, uh, define the lines, blend that out and then go on top of that with the powder. To add more definition, I'm using the bronzer from my handy dandy Sephora kit and I just love this palette. I think I talked about it in my previous video as well, but it has everything in there and for everyday use it's a pretty great palette. So I'm just going in with the powder and applying that to the already defined lines um, that I used creating the e.l.f. cream palette. To highlight, I am using Max Highlighter in Soft and Gentle, just uh, gliding it across the top of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, my upper lip, and my chin. Next, apply the blush. At last, we get to the lips. Here, I am using Urban Decay's Lip Pencil in the shade 69, and we're just gonna go ahead and line the lips. To fill in, I will be using Max Ruby Woo.
Once you have applied the lipstick, it's always a good idea to go back in and just clean up around the edges. So I like to just go in with some concealer and clean up the edges, powder up the face, and complete the look. So there you have it folks, a not too dramatic smoky eye look with some bold red lips. Thank you so much for watching my second YouTube tutorial. Stay tuned because I'll keep making more. Let me know if you guys have anything in particular you want me to work on. But I really appreciate all the love and support. Thank you so much. Don't forget, like and subscribe.